project on clock is ready now over here in this project I have included the analog clock the digital clock and I have also added some basic piece of information about the clock over here so first we will read this and then we will come to reading the time so now let's dive into the project so clock is used to tell time clock are of two types analog clock and digital clock a clock has a face so this is the face of the clock it has a minute hand which is longer and then R and the R hand which is shorter. Also the minute hand 
runs and the hour hand walks so here you have to tell a child that the minute hand has to go all the way across the face of the clock to 12 and then the hour hand will just walk through the tenth space to come to 11 for 11 o'clock so we say that the minute hand runs and our hand walks also these hands they move in this direction only that is from right to left and this direction is called as the clockwise direction now next point is the face has 12 hours and 60 minutes marked on it so here as you all can see i i have marked from 1 all the way to 60 like this on the inside of the clock then each hour has its space now this is important because uh, then there won't be any confusion in the child's mind especially when the time is something like this where if we have not given the colors to it he can easily say it 255 instead of 155 but since over here we know that our hand is still in one space so we are a child can say it is 522 two or 155 and not 255 and so I have colored each space and their numbers in the same color then I have written about the time like 60 seconds makes one minute 60 minutes makes one hour 24 hours makes one day now here you can also tell that our hand circles the clock space twice in a day it's seven days makes one week four to five weeks makes a month and 12 months makes one year now this is this was regarding the basic information about the clock you can keep it and uh, if you have tied it like with a string like this you can just put it behind and then later on you can have only the analog clock and the digital clock in front for the practice so now over here also you can write tens once tens once because that is going to be needed we can't write two o'clock just like this no it's not done so we have to so we have to write it like this this is two o'clock okay when the long hand will be on 12 and the short hand that is the r hand will be on the number like this two o'clock uh, now coming to reading the clock now here uh, as you all can see i have in the outer circle i have mentioned about what is to be said like on on top of 12 i have written o'clock so whenever the minute hand comes over here and the r hand is pointed to any number so it means o'clock now this is eight o'clock after o'clock then wherever the minute hand is pointing now this is pointing on one and this as you all can see i have written over here five past so a child has to say that it is five past eight then when the minute hand moves through the one space and comes in two space then it is ten past eight then over here it will be now you all can say 15 past 8 or you all can say quarter past 8 now why quarter so you can show a circle to a child and you can tell him that a so one circle is made with four quarters and these are the quarters one quarter two quarter three and four so if we keep just one quarter over here so the minute hand has come all the way from 12 to 3 through this quarter and so we can say that it is quarter past 8 okay so this is quarter then coming then the when the minute hand comes at 4 we can say 20 past 8 that is 20 minutes have passed okay then when it comes on 5 it is 25 past 8 coming to 6 so now this is half of the circle so here it is you can keep this half circle over here and say since it is half it has come from 12 to 6 it has traveled halfway so we have to say that it is half past 8 okay or 30 past 8 
then after that when the minute hand comes to 7 here you can say 35 past 8 or you can say 25 to 9 okay now after half we are going to talk about the next star over here then coming over here we can say it is 20 to 9 then coming over here it will be quarter to 9 or 15 to 9 so you can keep this quarter over here quarter of the circle over here and 10 so we have to say it is quarter to 9 when the minute hand points to 10 it is 10 to 9 when the minute hand points to 11 it is 5 to 9 and when it comes at 12 it becomes 9 o'clock now the same can be written on the uh, digital clock also so now let's say if it was something like this so it is 5 to 6 okay or 5 55 so you can write 5 over here and 55 over here so in this way you can practice writing on a digital clock also or you can give a time on the digital clock and, and tell a child to show the time on the analog clock now also learning a clock is uh, quite tricky uh, because the child won't understand that when the minute hand is pointing at one why they have to say five or if it is pointing at two then why they have to say 10 so just to avoid that confusion I have put all the things together that let them see and tell the time so that they'll get hang of it and they will understand this concept in a much better way and in a simpler way because how much ever you try that each hour is divided into five minutes and then we have 60 minutes and when the, it is pointing to three you have to say quarter past or when it is pointing to nine you have to say quarter two or for that matter when it comes at six it is half past it is too much for a child to understand so i have written all this thing at one place that let them take their time to understand this concept so that they become a pro in reading the clock so this was all about clock do let me know in the comment box about the video if you like the video do give a thumbs up do share the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos till then this is amrapali signing out happy learning clock and happy growing up with your loved ones